Hello everyone and welcome back to Sir You Are Being Hunted. In the last episode I managed to find two of the um, fragments from this island and then completely lost the ability to count to, th to count to three and thought I got all of them. So now it's time to go back onto the land again and try and find the ones that I missed last time. So the one that I missed and still can't count. So the two that I found, I think one was more or less on the south end of the island. Another was somewhere over to the west. So I'm going to head the other way around this time and see if I can find it. I will also make use of the weird blue floaty things and see if they give me an idea of which way to go. Looks like this is the way. But I can hear, yep, there's a robot already. Let's see. Now I was wondering between episodes whether I should start trying to engage single robots like that and steal their weapons. Especially given this one seems to be coming to audibly. Well that made my decision for me. <laughs> uh, let's... a broken shot... Ah, oh, There's no ammunition in the shotgun. Goodness sake. So my theory was... If I attack a single robot, I'm easily capable of taking them on without too much difficulty with the hatchet. Especially if I get the drop on them instead of them attacking me first. Unfortunately, I somehow managed to um, break his shotgun. Either that or he broke his shotgun as he died, I'm not sure. So that's not ideal. That's either a robot singing or it's a dot matrix printer. I'm going to go this way since it seems to be heading straight towards me. Oh, that's a different type of robot. That's why it's making a different type of noise. And this grass isn't long enough to hide in. How about this grass? There we go. Yeah, that's a different different robot model. That was too close for comfort. Fortunately I'd found this little patch of long grass. <laughs> there, there, there we go, that looks like the plume of smoke. Right, this is going to be tricky, because I'm not sure how to get from here. two over there without getting attacked. Okay. Apparently I was more visible than I thought I was. Yike. I saw him pointing the uh, blunderbuss and let's just say I, I, I hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I probably should have reacted then and, I don't know, started running or something. <sighs> right, let's try that again with a bit less fail. So, on the plus side, I found where the artifact is. And if I skirt round the edge of the island, but without falling into the water, I might be able to come to it from the opposite side of that outcropping. And that'll hopefully be a little bit more successful. I don't think I could take another blunderbuss to the uh, face like that. Well, I couldn't take the first one, obviously, but, you know. Could this be the woods that I was crawling through? I don't hear the singing robot yet. Although I do hear a rumbling, which I think might be the hot air balloon. Let's investigate this hut. What's that? Uh, dubious mushrooms. Something something band name, something something. I feel like I must have overshot. I don't see any of the blue fairies. I've not seen or heard any sign of the robots. So I don't know if I'm even going in the right direction. Maybe if I get up this hill and have a look around. There's that rumbling again. It's more of a whirring, perhaps. Whatever it is, it's kind of creepy. Ah, there's a fairy. Okay, this time... I'm going to try and go around the other side 
of the outcrop. See if that's any more successful. There's plenty of forest around here. But forest isn't really very good cover, we've discovered. Which probably means I should be a bit lower down. Get where it's a bit safer. Crunch, 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 crunch. Okay, there's a robot over there. Oh, and a hot air balloon up there. Which way is it going? It's going across quite quickly there, it's alright. Oh, I wish this grass was slightly thicker, slightly longer, slightly better cover, either, whichever way it is. This is. blue thing going that way. Hunting party going up there. Is that a touch of smoke? Yes, I think that's the plume of smoke over there. I kind of want to stand up and have a good look. Yes, that's definitely the smoke. Yeah, that's definitely the smoke. Okay, good. Do I have any bear traps left? I don't think I do. I think I used them. I think I lost them all. As in, left them behind and didn't pick them up because I'm an idiot, apparently. Um. Okay. Well, I could leave an alarm clock here. Because I've got loads of these. And then have a bit of a strafe in order so that they don't go try and go straight past me when they go. Oh god, I didn't notice that balloon. Oh no, don't come this way. It's not what I need. What's the balloon doing? Maybe put another one over here. Just, you know, to try and confuse them. Oh no, I hear the, the big guy with the blunderbuss. I definitely don't want to be between him and an alarm clock going off. Not unless I'm completely invisible, and even then I'd rather not be. That's the first one. Good, robot's going. Where's Blunderbuss guy? Oh. Here we are, here's the thing. It's got them away from here at least. Oh good, it's another small one. Ah, uh, and there's a the hot air balloon. I'm trapped between everything. Can I hide here? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I feel very trapped. Balloon is going gradually. Oh, this is terrifying. Right, so Blunderbuss robot is over there. There's loads of the guards over there, and there's those oh god, robot chicken noises again as well. Is that... 
And I can't get up this hill, it's too steep. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's another one up here. Are they fighting each other? I think they might be. That one doesn't see me, has it? It has. Hit him! Ah, uh, help. <laughs> oh no, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. robots in the area that it was really really difficult to get away from them all and then I think the two different types of robots the guy with the blunderbuss and the ones with the shotguns started fighting and I think and I think the noise from that drew the other one in the one that shot me first and somehow even though I was supposedly fully hidden it still managed to spot me and well I, I didn't react very well to be honest I tried to run away rather unsuccessfully but even so, I feel like it shouldn't have seen me where I was. Why is the blunderbuss robot over here already? Or over here instead, perhaps I should say. Oh dear. Let's try and get that big rock between us. Still, it's worth knowing that the robots do appear to fight if they encounter robots of a different type. Ah! No! How do I even... There we go, that was, that's what I was trying to do. And apparently robots now set traps for me. That's even worse. On the plus side, now I do have a bear trap again, but I don't approve of that way of finding them. <laughs> uh, let's have an apple, see if that makes me feel better. Not very much. This has got a lot harder. I, mean, I'm sure I have a feeling in the last episode I was saying it was all going quite well and wasn't actually that difficult. I should learn to keep my mouth closed. God, there's a lot of robots about. How can there be so many robots? So there's one there. I think I can hear one over there. Blunderbuss guy over there. And I think there's another one over there. Oh, I just want to curl up in this long grass and wait th for them to all go away but of course they're not going to go away because they're all guard they found the the artifact so they're all guarding it right I'm going up through the valley again and this is the way that worked so spectacularly badly the first time but that was because of the blunderbuss robot and the blunderbuss robot is currently off hopefully quite some distance behind me okay this looks promising this is yeah this this valley bit I think the um Artifact was at the end of it. So let's get a uh, ready with the old alarm clock. Is that smoke? I can't tell. Oh dear. Ah, there it is. Okay, much more glow, much more, much more smoke. Yeah, they're much too close for me to sneak in. <coughs> I 
Right. Let's take three and can I throw these? No. Action. No, don't see me, don't dare. I haven't got time for you to spot me. Oh, tactics are difficult. There's at least three robot lights over there. I can hear another one behind me, oh no. Okay, now might be a good time for the alarm clock to go off. And maybe if it does, I'll drop another one here to cover my escape. Oh, a minute is so long when you're hiding in the long grass. <laughs> there we go. Dropped a second one. But there's still a light up there in the... Oh no, my inventory is not appropriate. There we go. Okay, I'm out of the immediate area. The other alarm clock is about to go off. When it does, I can carry on this way, get back to the coast, and it will hopefully cover my escape. I think I might have done it. My heart rate's gone right up, though. <laughs> oh. God, how many of them are there around here? One, two, five. I make that. Six. There's six one over there. Right. They're distracted. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Uh, yes, I think I've got away from them. Oh. Jeez. Right, a nice big circle to bring me back round along the edge of the uh, along the coastline. And hopefully all of the robots from this island are now packed together over there along the, in the same place. Oh, it's a long way back. Oh, I think I've made it though. Of course the robots are all going to be patrolling now because they've not got anything keeping them in that one particular area. But hopefully that won't be too much of a problem because I've got the whole island to cover and they won't have taken a shortcut and headed me off at the pass. Where the pass in this question, in this case, is the boat. Just keeping my eyes peeled for any red headlights and listening for any of the sort of the, the burbling noises they make. I feel like I've got through a fair whack of my resources doing that as well. I, uh, I think I've used something like four alarm clocks on this island alone trying to to distract the robots. So I need to do a bit of replenishing and searching of um, houses and things. At least he's quite loud and distinctive. And I'm very nearly back at the boat, I'm sure of it. Let's try and slide down here. I'm surprisingly not exposed. Despite not being in any... Oh, good. No falling damage. I think the dark does help hide me. It's not actually dark. Well, I don't know. Is that the moon or the sun? It's hard to tell with these clouds. I think it must be dark. Although I've seen... I don't know. There's the jetty. Nearly back. Oh, and there's the balloon. Right, let's make sure I'm not going mad. Good, I've got that down to zero for this island. So, I can now peg it back to the boat and head back up to the central island, which, at least when I left it, was a bit less dangerous. Maybe we'll see how it is in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.